What is going on everybody? I am back. Uh, two of the packages just arrived. As you guys can see, I am super eager. The mud flaps and the uh, bug deflector, which I will show you guys right now, as well as the fact that I just gave her her first bath. And if you guys can see, she's got some new shoes on. And yes, they are nice and gold. Got our rally armor mud flaps. You already know we had to do the black with the red logo, and we got the urethane mud flaps. Another one of Philly's signatures that I always have to have on the front of the bug eye is the bug deflector, which we're about to install right now. I'm gonna give you guys a little first person shot. This right here is going to look completely different in about 10, 15 minutes, and then Right over here, we're gonna have some nice little mud flaps. And then the car's gonna look nice and rally. Very, very excited with everything that I was able to accomplish so far today. Uh, we were able to put on the new tires, the rims, and now we're gonna put on the mud flaps and the bug deflector, and it's pretty much gonna look almost exactly like how I want it on the outside. I just need to get the rain guards and possibly go STI trunk I'm trying to get the big one so mom's is pulling up right now so I gotta stop recording we'll get back with you guys in a little bit just open the package the bug deflector I'm I've installed like three of these just due to the fact that I've had so many of them as well as so many incidences to where they've broken so this is gonna be like my fourth one installed so I know how to do it by heart but they do send you some instructions uh, that come with obviously all the pieces that are in here so you guys can see right there, get that out of the way. And somewhat of a little instruction manual or the continuation of the instruction manual uh, so that you guys can obviously kind of, you know, see how it works. So we have the two clips that actually hold the bug, uh, the bug deflector in place to the hood. So, those are the clips that the screws are about to go into. So the only other thing you need right now, honestly, is a Phillips head, which I'm gonna grab from the trunk because I know I have an extra one in there. And you need these little, little bead thingies. And there's little cool adhesive strips too. First thing they want you to do, read the instructions. Second thing they want you to do, wash the car. Car's nice and clean. Third thing they want you to do, raise the hood. Hood is popped, hood is raised. Boom, hood stand, nice. As you guys can see, nice little depots we just installed here. And we got the little LED HID kit going on in here because you know we like to stay bright. Stay bright like a diamond. Pretty sure it's shine bright like a diamond, but who cares? So, I'm gonna put you. Hey, I'm gonna get you a little bug deflector. It's a little Bella. How you doing, little girl? You doing all right? Just being cute, sitting out there watching, keeping me company. Yes, I love my chihuahua, and I don't even care. Say something. She's my homie. Ain't that right, little belly? There, you're gonna help me out, okay? Ready? Boom. Good job. All right, cool. So, we're gonna put this on, and actually see where the holes are that we're going to be taking off so we're going to be doing these two holes and these two holes right here so all you need is a handy dandy flathead okay as you can see mine's a little chipped but no worries because it will still work so oops just have to pop this little weathering strip clip in out Next, we're gonna get these little bad boys, which are going to go right into those holes you just took out. And you see how this is flat right here, boys and girls? Hoping that you guys can see that. It's gonna go right up here into this portion. And 
you're gonna put some screws in there. So, you wanna put it on and line it up so that you know where it's gonna go on and push it on a little bit so that it's ready for you. Oops. That's basically what she's gonna look like. Beautiful, pretty much. Now, back to business. Back to business. Let's take two of those things. Plug up your holes real quick. It's one hole. Two holes. So you do got to be careful because those pop out super easy. So obviously you don't want to lose one of these because then it's not going to help you cinch down anything, right? Put that in there. And that in there. Okay, so now you've got your holes. Now all you've got to do is put the bug deflector back on, line everything up. We're looking nice and copacetic. Okay, it's looking good so far. Boom, and boom. I don't know if you guys can see, but the holes are kind of hiding from the weathering strip, but that's not something that you can't obviously get past. So, let's see if I can just start it normally by hand and then we'll put the rest in. I'm gonna cinch the rest of those down a little bit. I'm just gonna put the clips on and then take off the plastic and then it'll be nice and ready. Get the clip. Final stage, it's in your bug deflector. <laughs> 